Hello, my name is Courtney Johnson, Adult Education Coordinator for Helms at Temple. Thanks for joining me for a recap of Writing Club Persuasive Writing. Let's get started. Let's talk the basis of a persuasive essay. When you write a persuasive essay, you are trying to convince your reader to do something or believe in something. Let's think about the word persuade. What does this word mean? When you're trying to persuade someone, you may be trying to convince them or change their mind about something. When writing a persuasive essay, you can appeal to your reader to get them to agree with your point. While there are several different types of appeals that you can use in persuasive writing, the two main ones are emotional appeals and ethical appeals. When you use an emotional appeal, you include words that make your reader feel good or bad about your point. By doing this, you can help create a connection with your reader. Or you can try an ethical appeal. This will help include reasons for why your point is the better choice or could potentially lead to a better outcome. Let's talk about understanding the audience. The audience is very important when writing a persuasive essay. Understanding your audience helps you to write in a way that will get them to agree with you better. The audience is who you are writing the persuasive piece to. What do they need? What do they value? What do they find important? These are things that you can keep in mind as you are constructing your appeals. For example, if you are writing a persuasive essay about why you need more teachers to go on field trips, your audience is most likely a school principal or superintendent. You could appeal to the principal by saying you want more teachers on field trips so the students can be safe outside of the school. This would be a good example of an ethical appeal. You are trying to convince the principal of a better outcome, which would be safer students outside of the school. Now that we understand about persuasive writing and the audience, Let's take a look at persuasive writing essay structure. Let's look at this prompt. Should we always buy every gift on a child's holiday list? Right at the beginning of a persuasive essay, make sure you start out with an attention-grabbing sentence. For example, to begin this prompt, you could say, Unless you want your kids to cry on Christmas morning, you need to buy all the gifts they ask for. This automatically grabs my attention, and I want to read more to figure out why you believe this. You can state your appeals in the following paragraphs, usually two to three paragraphs, and you can explain why your appeals are important. For example, an emotional appeal would say, buying all of your children's gifts will keep your kids happy. What caregiver doesn't want to see their kids happy on Christmas morning? Or you could lean for an ethical appeal. When you buy every gift that they ask for, you can ensure that you are helping to keep the economy moving and you are saving small businesses. After you finish your appeals, make sure you have a concluding point that lets your reader know that they are making the right decision. You can explain that buying holiday gifts for your children will ensure that they remember their Christmas memories for the rest of their lifetime. Are you ready to try a practice prompt? Let's get started. Should people be allowed to keep exotic pets like chimpanzees or tigers in their homes? How can we write a persuasive essay to say yes, they should be allowed to keep these exotic pets? Our audience for this type of essay would most likely be rich people or the city government. The appeals that we could use could include that pets are emotionally supportive. We could appeal to the city government as they could charge huge amounts of money 
for people who want to house these animals in their homes. We could also say to rich people, having a chimpanzee or a tiger will definitely make you more famous. How could we write a persuasive essay to say, no, people should not be allowed to keep these exotic pets in their homes? Let's think about how our audience would change here. We would probably write this type of essay to regular people, the Department of Health, or even animal activists. The appeals that we could use would include the facts that these animals are wild and dangerous. We also could say that these pets carry different diseases, unlike domesticated animals, and this could cause more harm than good in our cities. Let's try another prompt. Should students be able to listen to music with headphones during study hall? How could we write a persuasive essay to say yes, they should be able to listen to music with headphones? Our audience here could possibly be study hall teachers, principals, or parents. We could write this essay with the appeals of saying, that music with headphones will allow students to focus more, but it does depend on the person. We could also say sometimes background noise is helpful when studying. How could we write a persuasive essay to say, no, they should not be able to listen to music with headphones on? This is an interesting essay because the audience for a no could also be teachers, principals, and parents. The appeals that we could use for this type of essay would be to say that students would be distracted. Students may be unable or unwilling to follow the headphone rule. They may want to blast their music throughout the entire study hall. This would be disturbing to other students. It also could be difficult to enforce the music only rule. Students may want to use other apps like Instagram or TikTok, and they won't want to only listen to music. Let's talk about one more aspect of persuasive writing. As I was putting together this presentation, I saw a lot of information about argumentative versus persuasive writing. For example, Let's say we are writing an essay to convince someone to get their young child vaccinated. If we were writing an argumentative essay, we could use this sentence. The Center for Disease Control recommends that children receive a total of 14 vaccines before the age of six. This is a very easy to understand fact. You can find this information readily available on the Center for Disease Control website. If we were trying to write a persuasive essay to convince someone to get their child vaccinated, we could say, take your children to the pediatrician today and make sure their vaccinations are up to date or they may not be able to stay healthy. Can you see the difference there? The first one heavily leans on facts to make their point. The second one leans on feelings and trying to convince you that vaccinations will keep your child healthy. Think about using facts versus appealing to feeling when writing argumentative or persuasive essays. Thank you so much for joining me for this recap of persuasive writing. If you're interested in more practice, Make sure to reach out to your coordinator who can provide you with help. Also make sure to check out the Helms Academy YouTube page for other reading and writing recaps as well as math roundtable. Take care!